Venom stars Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams, and Riz Ained. Journalist Eddie Brock is trying to take down the Life Foundation, and he accidentally bonds with an alien called a symbiote, which gives him abilities. Ruben Fletcher directed Venom. His previous movies are Zombieland, 30 Minutes or Less, which I tried watching, and Gangster Squad. It's a fun gangster movie. Zombieland 2 will get made next year. When I reviewed Spider-Man Homecoming, I stated the 90s cartoon introduced me to him. I vaguely knew about Venom when I was a kid. I seen only one episode with him then. Carnage was in there also. I own the PlayStation game. Venom was a major character. He started off as a villain, but he teamed up with Spider-Man. He was shorn into Spider-Man 3. Topher Grace was fine. A spin-off was planned, but it was canceled, mainly because Spider-Man 4 was canceled. When Venom was announced last year, everyone, including myself, was skeptical, but we warmed up a little after Tom Hardy was casted. I made a vlog about his casting. I liked the trailers. The third one was okay. Critics and fans naturally bash Venom, but it doesn't matter because my expectations were already low. Venom's not that bad. It was okay. I'm sure everyone agrees Tom Hardy was better than Topher Grace. He was delightfully over the top. Some critic named Mike Ryan Batch Venom. He actually compared Hardy to Jim Carrey in Wire Wire. It's a weird comparison. I was never reminded of Jim Carrey. I think he overwatched Wire Wire like myself. Why don't we just take it from the top? Here goes. I sped. I followed too closely. I ran a stop sign. I almost hit a Chevy. I sped some more. I failed to yield at a crosswalk. I changed lanes in the intersection. I changed lanes without signaling while running a red light and speeding! Tom Hardy was great as Eddie Brock slash Venom. I agree his American accent was silly. Couldn't he have picked a better accent? You can tell he was really passionate about his character. He signed on because his son loves Venom. I like the Brock slash Venom dynamic. It's crazy. Their banter was never born. Michelle Williams plays Anne Whalen, Brock's girlfriend. She's likable, but she's another generic love interest or tool like Mary Jane Watson. But to be fair, she isn't another damsel in distress or pushover. Williams was good, despite her bland or serviceable material. Riz Aimed plays Carlton Drake, the head of the Life Foundation. He's another generic villain. He actually believes his research or experiments will cure cancer. His motivation isn't really explained, so he's never fleshed out. Aimed was good, despite his bland material. Maybe he had a few juicy bits that got cut out. The characterization overall was bland. Which is one reason why Venom feels dated, why it feels like it was made in the early 2000s. Only Brock and Venom were developed. Waylon should have been fleshed out more since Williams is a huge star. There's a doctor character, he's bland as hell, he tries helping out Brock. Drake easily could have been fleshed out more if he had more material. Venom is under two hours long, which is great, but the pacing wasn't good. The first act was rushed, which is weird because we actually don't see Venom until halfway through. Like how in The Amazing Spider-Man, Peter Parker doesn't become Spider-Man until halfway through. I think the editing ruined the movie. Venom is totally inconsistent. It shifts back and forth between seriousness and goofiness. Let's say Venom is 30% goofy. Having a parasite shouldn't be easy. It should be tragic, painful, weird, and maybe funny. It shouldn't be like in the first Spider-Man movie, where Peter Parker was casual about gaining abilities. He was looking in the mirror, he was like, I'm buff, and I don't have to wear glasses anymore. Hooray! I'm sure everyone's glad Venom doesn't take itself so seriously. I'm sure some people were annoyed by the humor. I liked it. I chuckled a lot. No spoilers. But the restaurant scene was the funniest scene. The action was fine. It's not boring. The motorcycle chase was cool. It's the best action scene. I'm sure some people feel it was a little overwhelmed. 
The climax was a bland CGI fight, which reminds me of Deadpool saying CGI fight. Plus, Venom and Riot look alike. The effects were a mixed bag. Venom looked fine, but the other symbiotes look awful. Of course, some people feel the effects sucked. People were naturally mad Venom was rated PG-13. I wasn't mad, but I was skeptical. The Deadpool movies and Logan were huge hits, so Sony should have grown some balls. Did the rating hurt the movie? Yeah, but Venom wouldn't be much better if it was rated R. The violence actually pushes the rating. You see a little cannibalism. Venom is intended to kickstart Sony's Marvel Universe, which is definitely separated from the MCU, but that could change eventually. Sony is making Morbius with Jared Leto soon, unless Venom bombs. Venom has two post credit scenes. The first one is a mid credit scene. I like them, but the second scene was really irrelevant. Venom gets a C. It's not bad. It's a generic superhero movie that tries being different. It's not a turd in the wind, or even a fart in the wind. It's a milkshake in the wind. Tom Hardy was delightfully over the top. If Sony greenlights Venom 2, hopefully it has a better script. Thanks, as always, for watching, guys. My Twitter link is down below. Let me know what you think of Venom. Did you like it or hate it? My grading shot was different because I realized I should reduce repeating stuff. I'm seeing A Star is Born tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. Alrighty then. Yeah. <laughs>